Hey guys, what's up? Uh, Professor Almena here um, with your another hyper lesson today. And I just wanted to take a moment to uh, just showcase um, two lessons. Uh, this is one of the two videos. So definitely check out the next one when we talk about color theory. But today's video uh, is going to focus in on one uh, question that a student had regarding her design. And um, we're going to briefly overview the four steps to a minimalist design and then go into a question regarding the live trace tool. So um, let's go in. Let's jump in while we're at it. And we will begin. And during class, if there's any specific questions that you might have, we'll be reviewing um, your designs accordingly. So here we go. And enjoy. We'll see you guys in just a few minutes. And so, like I was saying, these are the steps that I would do if I had to break it down into a cheat sheet. Step one, what's the theme of the, your film? What is the theme of Chicano? What is the theme of SOAR? What is the theme to 97%? Um, that theme is sort of the sort of the guide or your star where you're aiming in your design. We're trying to communicate that theme, right? What are some graphics? Step two, visualize universal graphics related to that theme, right? So if it's about love, then what could be some images that represent love? Hearts, right? If it's about identity, then identity is a very big, broad word. Then, but what is identity to someone from Japan? What does identity look like for, from someone that is, um, you know, a... Uh, you know, uh, Latino living in Los Angeles or Mexican American. What does what does that look like graphically? What is like one picture that represents that? Right? Uh, it might be a lowrider. It could be a tattoo. If it's sore, what's the image? Is it a star? Is it is it this theme of the sky? Right? Endless possibilities. You know, sky is the limit. Um, that's the that's that visualizing universal graphics. So we're gonna we're trying to attach a graphic to the theme. Step three, adjust, right? Alter the graphic so it relates to the movie. So um, obviously there is no such thing as a uh, an apple with a heart in it or a snow white apple. Maybe you're lucky if, if your if your Google search techniques are awesome, but you might need to do some editing on that picture. And that's great because you know how to use the pen tool. We're learning how to use the image trace. We're possibly tracing the image from scratch, but we have that capability now. So we're, we're gonna use that to our advantage and we're gonna try to alter the graphic, okay? So we're gonna manipulate it in, in different ways. So even if we have to redraw it or add onto it or subtract from it, that's what we gotta do. So we're kind of in step three right now with image tracing, I guess you could say. And then the last step is the font, right? Um, I st uh, we still go back to DeFont or Font Scroll, much in the same way that we did for the t-shirt. But what is that? What is the ultimate font? Now, most people would say start with the font. Um, I actually end with the font because I don't typically know where the graphic's gonna go or how much editing I'm gonna do to it until it's done. So I always wait till my image is edited. And then once it's edited, I end up finding a font that's based off the completed or edited image. So those are, um, that's ultimately where I'm going with. So if a graphic is hard to find, don't give up, use the psychology approach. What can you control? What, what is it that you cannot control? What can we do to make it better and then follow through? Um, same thing goes for this project. Uh, what is it that you can't control? What can you control? What can we possibly do to move it along and let's follow through with it, okay? So I know I gave you a, a rundown, but those are the four ultimate steps there, okay? That break this entire process down. This is what's really helpful. Each step of the way, we're constantly editing and reviewing and making modifications. So it feels a lot like little changes. Theme, image, no, change, change, change. So it feels, it feels like a lot of back and forth when you're editing and making modifications in this poster. So it kind of feels like the Mickey poster when you're making constant changes, looking at it, making edits, showing people constantly making edits, making changes, and just doing that over and over and over and over again. 
And so that's typically the process, okay? Um, it's, it's, rarely, it's rarely done in like one instance like they show in the movies, you know, like it's just done. There's, it's, it's, it's more like multiple changes and multiple edits and, and evolution, uh, for lack of a better word. It's a constant evolution of your graphic, I guess you can say. You have a general idea, but the art style never really does show up until we start building it and, and making it come to life. So hopefully that makes sense as, as your overview. So these are the steps to minimalist. This is also found on Canvas and it's there in this presentation. I, of course, I added more to it, but it shortened more or less to that. Okay, so let's, uh, let's go ahead and throw in some of those graphs. Uh, let's take a look at what you have and then I can give you guys some, uh, see some status updates. So, um, okay, so I'm gonna put on a multiple sharing feature on my account. And we're just going to jump in and see who, what do we got? Okay. So, anyone want to start first? First, feel free to share. Let me open it up first. Um, so, I had some issues. Uh, no surprise there, right? Um, um, no, it's 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 quite normal. But what's up? What happened was, oh shoot, where did it go? Fuck. Oh, here it is. Sorry, I thought I didn't save it. Um, okay. mm -hmm. so, I think I got an email about the tracing feature, right? Yeah, I know you you were looking into that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I had an issue with that. Um, what happened was, let me share my, am I sharing my screen? Uh, yeah, uh, you, if, feel free, let's give it a go and it should go through. Okay. There you go. Okay, it's starting to share right now. Okay. Nice. I did, I got like this image of this, of this, um, of this guy. Mm -hmm. And then I used the trace feature, but then it was so complicated the way it was. It was just like, super built out and like, I don't know. So I tried to do what you said and use the, um, what is that tool? It's this like, yeah. Here. Mm -hmm. so I tried to do that, but then it started just kind of messing everything up. And then, so I took the eraser and I was like, okay, let me see if this will work. And then it kind of did, but then I had to go back and like, clean it up again and yeah anyways um i don't know i'm just having some issues with it okay so then so is it kind of going along the vision that you had for it like is it is it like you're okay with the image or is it just or is it more the cleanup part i think it's like the cleanup part so okay. I guess my question would be more like, I had to use the eraser. Was that like bad? <laughs> no, um, not at all. So um, so let's take a look. Um, I'm gonna see if I can maybe possibly uh, zoom in and see if I can do remote control. And so at this point you can use any and all tools that you can work on, right? Now, if you, Let's take a look. If you zoom in, can we zoom in for a second there? Um, what's what's kind of nice of control the U, right? Didn't I? Or not? Yeah. So we have a rent uh, control there. I think the let's see. Uh, let's see if we can zoom in there. Okay. I'm gonna click and see if I can zoom in there. Okay. So there's a couple of ways. So like definitely you can use an eraser tool to to modify. Um, if there's like, if it's these specific, like sort of white sort of areas here, I always like using the, uh, direct selection, which is the white arrow, um, to kind of make some modifications. Uh, the reason is, is that direct selection, direct selection is all about like specifically picking out elements and, uh, and modifying them. So generally what happens is, is like, oh, you know, that like, when it's something live traces, the computer tries to create a closed vector object. And sometimes it'll kind of fill in the gaps 
by uh, changing the colors. Or if it's like black and white, it'll get it'll fill in with white, it'll fill in with black. It'll kind of do its best in terms of filling in all the different colors and things of that sort. So when it does that, then um, and I'm okay with the trace. I always go to that direct selection tool. And with the direct selection, uh, with the direct selection tool, I can then specifically like click. Well, first click outside the artboard, and then I can sort of roll over um, into that area. What I have to be careful for is just making sure that I'm not like selecting like another element or something like closely related to it, or even the background of the sun. And you'll kind of see like that element has been highlighted. It has like this little red outline. And then I can like literally just like move it or delete it um, from the scene oh, and, and then kind God. of modify it. What did you just do? So in, um, in this one, what I just did, I just took that white arrow, the direct selection. Oh. I tried to do my best to click right over that shape because it's really easy to click onto something else because I'm kind of far away. Yeah. And um, so I can, you know, I, I should have zoomed in here really like a little bit closer to make it bigger, like an island almost. So I can easily click it. And then I just basically confirm that it is the only thing selected, which it is, because those are those squares represents the the bounding box or the outline. And then I just simply, um, you know, moved it, right? Or, uh, or I hit delete on my keyboard and uh, it deletes it, right? And it does show the gap or what's behind it as a see-through, but it's kind of looking better either way. So um, that was actually kind of my next question because what I was mm -hmm. hoping for was to like have that white, like the red space white part show through like from the Japanese flag and then the white space in the background. So I guess, so what I would do is just like select it and then delete it. Correct. Yeah. And then, um, and you can even, you know, have some fun with it and you can, um, I'll see, I've already, I've already gone off a little bit. That's how sensitive it is. But um, you literally like, I click away, click onto it and then delete it. And then if you really target properly, you can even like, you know, move it around or even like alter like the actual path and like do changes to it. So it becomes like super editable at that point. You know, it, it, it's case by case. Yeah. But but you at least you have that power. So um, now it's all about like it's uh, about the editing of the image and try to and try to find the right images to kind of put them all together, if that makes sense, or echoing the art style. So um, that's another technique in and of itself because we we've done it the opposite, like we built up the graphic, but now we're learning how to like build it down or simplify it or edit it uh, coming through the other way. So. And so either approach, uh, whatever you're comfortable with, you can approach it from either angle. Is it, if this is a little bit easier, go this route. If you find like, you know, drawing it from scratch to self, go that route. Some people even do sort of an in-between where they kind of live trace and then they trade and then they draw their own image and kind of combine them. So there's a spectrum. Yeah. Um, you want to find them. Anything. <laughs> you can be whatever you're most comfortable with. Um, ultimately, and practice always will improve. Like I felt the same way when I first started, and eventually, as I did more and more, put a lot of hours into practice. Um, I eventually got the hang of it, and I felt comfortable with it. So it, it's all in the practicing. So I would do that. I would do. I would use direct selection to edit um, specific points and areas, and and then if you want to move the whole thing, then the black arrow selection tool is ultimately selecting the entire grouping. Mm -hmm. Um, and you can modify and move those around. I know you yeah. explained that before, and for some reason, I guess it doesn't click until until you do it. So, <laughs> yeah, and that's and that's why I'm all about like that's all that's why in the begin like in the beginning I am all about theory and how to see things, and then and then I switch gears and it's like okay, here are the car keys, you drive, and so um, so that's really how I learned. It's like okay, I gotta be in the driver's seat. Um, but just think of me as like in the, you know, next to you, behind you, not next to you, and just kind of telling you, oh, you know, watch out for this, watch out for that, don't forget about this, oh, and I'm just kind of there just coaching you along, so that eventually you can be proficient and you can do it on your own, and by, and by the time we're done, you'll, you'll, you'll have a, you'll have a good, you'll have a good feel for it, because every project we do get better and better.
So hopefully I answer, I answered that question for you. So yeah, thank you. Cool. All right. And it's looking good too, by the way. Um, concept is okay. good. I like the contrast of simple and 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 somewhat deep. So I'll stop it there, guys. And <clears throat> so I wanted to just reiterate that um, when Victoria was working on this project, um, her big question was, okay, I'm having a hard time um, cleaning up the graphic. What do I need to do? And so let that guide you a little bit. There is a spectrum to uh, retracing or tracing an image. Um, you can trace um, um, everything in your project and bring it in. Um, with, of course, understanding that there is a focal point and you're going to put your type in. Um, or you can um, uh, image trace the and, and also pen tool and trace your own and combine those images as well. So those are a couple of things that I wanted to reiterate in the student live trace question portion and make some adjustments accordingly. Um, again, direct selection tool is the white arrow. And that'll help you make those modifications to the specific parts of that image. Okay. All right. We will see you and I will go into the next hyper lesson, which will be about color theory. We'll see you then.